All right, Peach Hippopotamus here. And I'm bringing you guys a very simple redstone tutorial. So you guys can start making stuff, well, simple contraptions out of redstone. We can get to some more complicated stuff later. But redstone is probably one of the most difficult things in the game to start to understand. So what we need first is, of course, some redstone, which can be found mining pretty deep down there in the earth. And some redstone repeaters. They're pretty easy to craft. Just go Google them. And, let's see, what should we make first? Oh, we need redstone torches. They made like regular torches, but with redstone on top instead. Some levers. You could use buttons, too. For now, this is all we're using. So first off, redstone only can carry a current about 14 blocks. That's why I need repeaters. Repeaters restart that cycle. So they could be going on forever if we really had that much repeaters. And redstone, which I do, because I have unlimited amounts of them right now. Now, to start making a simple circuit, see, just place down, right click with the redstone onto the ground. Put a switch there, turns it on. There we go. Now, it looks to be used to activate items that respond to redstone, such as doors. Don't ever try to make an iron double door, as it will take you about five hours to complete. And it's just not worth the hassle. If you want a double door, just go with wood. Now, something else we can do with redstone is power powered rails for minecarts. I want to make sure the redstone is pointing directly at the object, not just adjacent to it. You know, that will push minecarts forward. Now for a simple redstone circuit. Now, you may have seen this in one of my other videos on how to make little rave light things. But this is just slightly different. See, now this will carry a current and it's very useful for crafting when you're using pistons. But right now the pistons mod has not been updated yet. And it should be updated soon. It just continually carries a current as you put down a lever. Wait, no, no, never mind. Completely disregard that I said anything. Let's put down a redstone torch between there. And then there we go. The current just keeps cycling around. And it should keep its current and allow it to be extended, which makes it very good for pistons. And it also goes pretty rapidly. You see right there, the door is having a spasm. Now, that, is, that was a pretty simple tutorial. So now we're going to get on to a little more advanced items. Now, oh, to make a dispenser that shoots arrows at little people who are trying to invade your house. It's not too hard, but no. Oh, it's somewhat more difficult than what we've been doing. Okay, now I'll have a dispenser right there. No, I probably shouldn't build on sand. There, dispenser right there. First things first, put some arrows inside of it. Here we go. Now, you want to make redstone. Uh oh, always make sure the redstone's pointed at there, like pre previously stated. No, let's bring it down to the ground. Probably get some dirt put on top of there. Some cobblestone. Okay, well our switch will be right here. Need for this. What is up with my iron door? There it goes. Need a pressure plate. Place that right there. Uh oh, some dirt is on there. So we should probably use a red star repeater to extend the circuit. And bring the circuit up here. And once again, red star repeater will probably be needed there. Oh, and redstone repeaters. They can like hold on to a current as like four toggleable rates. Right here, that's the fastest, second fastest, the, the second slowest, and the slowest. That's also very useful for when you're using pistons. 
as it can use them to time to s complete amazingly to synchronize them. Like you can see in my other gun video of me making a fully functional sand cannon that also shoots out nukes. Now what we're gonna do here, step on here and this should work. Oh no, never mind. Need to put some redstone down right here. Then the repeater goes here. There we go. And multiple repeaters can also be placed, so as long as they're all pointing the same direction, they'll all carry a current. There we go. Overshot us a little bit, but you get the general idea. You could line up a whole bunch of these, and they would shoot anything that's approaching your house. It's like a little alarm system, but with arrows. So, now, for a little more advanced or so thing. Well, I guess it's not too advanced. We're going to have to clear our inventory out. Some s simple rails. Some redstone. Some levers. Now, you can use these. Well, as you've seen in another video of me making a very long cattle highway on, like, rails. You can use redstone to divert the path of rails. See, right here, it's going in a straight line. Well, let's say there's a town over here that you want to be able to let people go to. Just slap down a lever right here. There we go. If it's pointing this way, the car will simply just keep going straight. That way, it will turn. And you can make a very long redstone just a line, like a huge circuit, just coming all the way down here from your original destination, as you can see in my other video. And it, you can use this. You don't need a lever right here. It's just purposes. Like, you can put redstone right there, and it will still turn. Or use those humongous redstone circuits. And I'm pretty sure, yep, that's all. Well, it's all for this regular tutorial. Remember to subscribe for more of these. And comment this, like this, tell all of your friends about me, help this channel grow. So, I can create higher quality videos. And everything that comes along with having a lot of people following you on YouTube. So, see you later. Have a nice day.